section two, building the screen. So we're going to need this bit, which has the screen acrylic in it, along with some other bits of acrylic. Those are bits of screen. That is a bit of screen. And then we've got these for the console. Put that on there, because I'll need that pink box in a minute, and more bits of screen. And we also have manage not to kill it. A screen box. I'm going to keep this bit of bubble wrap on the table because working with screens you don't want it to get scratched. You may be doing better than me and have a towel or a sheet or something on your work surface. Brilliant. I'm going to use this bubble wrap because it's soft. Let's have a look in the screen box. Ooh. Screen driver board and screen. Okay. All the acrylic pieces loaded our white protective film. Don't forget to peel this off. You'll be annoyed if you can't see through it. I'm going to read through this quickly and make sure there's no gotchas. This is prep work in effect, people. Okay. I think we're good. So, don't bend this. You'll be sad. Take the screen acrylic, lay it down with the tabs on either side. We will also, at this point, ah, full jib. No, I'm going to do it really. Lovely. The artwork now face down, so you have lovely piquet artwork, lovely fingerprints, which you can wipe off. Don't worry. Uh, it's also. A handy bit of advice here, worth putting a couple of bolts through just so you've got something to hold it all together as you go. If you've got any of these little bits of card still in there, get that away or hide them amongst the bubbles in your bubble wrap because if they fall in between the screen and the acrylic, you're always going to have a black blob there, it'll be annoying. With any luck, your bolts will sit there. Mine won't. We might just go with three. Let's just go with three. Okay. Press the screen on. The straps, the artwork should be at the bottom right when looking from the front. Now, this is symmetrical, so we're going to know that this corner here is the bottom right. I'm actually going to mark that with a little BR. You might do the same, because that way you can tell when you're looking at the wrong side of it, which will save some hassle down the line. Okay, two narrow clear acrylic pieces mark top one and base one. Go at the top and base of the screen and hold it in place. Place them with the flat edges aligned flush with the top and base of the screen assembly and the cutouts towards the middle of the screen assembly. Okay, so we have top two, top one, base one and base two. So, plastic off. I have no thumbnails. One, let's try and wrestle this in. Did you stay? You did. Good on you. Thank you. Right. Base one. I have no point of fingernails either. Okay, top one and base one. Top and base, place with the five. Peel the protective film off the screen. This is a last minute thing. Do this just before you place it down and try and make sure things are as dust free as possible because, again, if you end up with bits between your screen and your acrylic, they'll just annoy you every time you look at it. So you've got your little tab for the protective screen. You're waiting for it, aren't you? Not going to do it this time. Go. 
down nice and neat. Hmm. Indeed, I have got that the wrong way round, which I just noticed totally from reading the instructions and not in any way because there's helpful hands gesturing at me from behind the camera. Ribbon cable towards the cutout. Everything's fine, lads. Everything's great. <laughs> okay. Driver board goes on this bit. Again, remove your plastic. I'm just laying it down. I'm not connecting it yet because the driving board does connect to this bit. You'll probably be able to see the screw holes on there. Okay, so it's going to go with the ribbon connector towards the hole because that is where the screen ribbon cable is going to go. Beautiful. Just like that. Okay. These four low profile bolts, I don't know if you can see those, hopefully one of the cameras is picking this up. They go low profile so that they fit as flush as possible to that side and don't foul the screen. The nuts for those this bag with the little little white standoffs and the plastic nuts and bolts in these are M2.5 nuts and bolts. These are for connecting your Pi to the base plate which we'll be doing at a later stage in this video. These are the nuts that you want to use uh, and they... Right, let's get these out and then we'll have a look. Ooh. So they go through, bolts through from the bottom again to keep it as flat as possible and if you were smart like me, I are very smart you would have had all these out already I'm going to use my handy dandy pliers for this there is actually, you'll probably notice, no crosshead or flathead fitting on the bolt. Friction does its job though, it won't spin and you don't need to pull it that tight anyway. Careful not to damage anything on the board while you do this. It's worth taking a bit of time over. I know that's not the best for video points of view, and I'm sorry that this bit's a bit boring. But you do want a nice sexy piecade, don't you? With no scratches on it or anything. Flush, turn it up. And bolt number four. Cool. Pop that down over your other two bolts, keep it all nice and neat together. Now are we fixing the ribbon cable yet? Not quite yet. Okay. 
to the base of the screen assembly with the cutout towards the middle of the screen. Cut out. Whole, whole can of worms. It's, it's technical. Basically, you'll, you'll see the, the tabs on the side they go through these tabs in the MDF, match up. There's only one way it can go, it, it goes that way. Yes, you've probably guessed it. Yes, we printed the posters and then revised things. That's the world of making and chops and good luck to you. Right, base one, base two, in place, everything dandy. Three screws push through to the front side with the clear grip to hold the side of the secure with four M3 nuts. Don't over tighten. Let's do that. So, we've already got our bolts in holding everything together. I will probably make them all fall out by lifting it slightly to get my fingers under to hold the damn things in place. It can be a bit fiddly. This probably won't be the fiddliest thing you'll do throughout this build, but oh my, it's going to be worth it. Am I allowed to swear? I'm probably not allowed to swear. Let's not swear. Okay. Let's see if we can. Oh, that works. And even the bolt stayed in. Great. Ha! Ah. Did do that. Do that, that works. I'm probably just going to leave these finger tight in the spirit of do not over tighten. Don't damage your acrylic even on the back. And there we go, screen assembly. Looking good. Uh, we might as well also fit the ribbon cable. Is there anything specifically telling me not to do that at this stage? Let's check. Aha! The next step is in fact connect the ribbon cable. Uh, gently pull out, yes. Do this gently. We don't get spares for these. They work the same as the camera connectors on the Pi. If you've used those, especially on the Pi Zero, you will know they pull out really, really easily. It's very easy to pull them out too far. If you pull them out too far, you will break the little retaining clips on the side. And if that happens, you are going to have fun messing about with little bits of cereal packet or hot glue or credit cards or just some kind of thin thing to shove in there to hold the ribbon cable in place. And then you're going to have to hold that in with some hot glue. It's all going to be a mess back there. Do this carefully. Slide it out. Doesn't come very far. Doesn't need to. That's it. That's it open. It's as open as it needs to be to get the cable in. Do not pull it out further than that. I will read your ticket, I will roll my eyes, and you will have to buy a replacement. Squeeze it in finger tight, that's all it needs. It clips into place, and that's it. Done. Nothing broken. Excellent. Gently pull out. There we go. Push the cable and then push the clip securely on it. Lay the keypad and cable aside. Later, slot the whole screen assembly into the side of the case. When you've assembled, the driver board should be closest to the top of the cabinet. The rainbow stripes on the front should be at the bottom right corner. Bottom right. So it's going in that way, and once it's in, it'll look something like that.
but it doesn't stand up on its own. I think what we might do, what you may end up doing, you can just rest this on top. Just enough to hold everything in place. We're not screwing it, bolting it, anything like that. Let's just not let the screen fall. 